Hey everyone, this is the Killer Nacho, and I have a kitty in my lap. Cute little Da Vinci. Anyway, today's uh, kind of an interesting battle, a battle that happened not so long ago, but I liked it enough that I thought it would be interesting to post on YouTube, so yeah, this is a battle with T Did Dat, a UU match, but with a twist. This is uh, using the inverse battle rules introduced in Generation 6. Um, if you're not familiar with them, basically everything's reversed. Uh, if, a, if a Pokemon was uh, weak to a type, now it's strong against it, etc. So basically, the entire type chart is now completely reversed. Anyway, so I just go for the poison move here on the Umbreon, and um, yeah, he's just going to heal Bell, and that's just, well, okay. So I go to Miss Magus, because now dark types are uh, or weak against Ghost, and he ends up going out into his wall, the, uh, I guess that would be Fortress, which, you know, is also kind of weak to Ghost. Actually, no, not weak to Ghost, because uh, Steel is no longer weak, uh, strong against Ghost. But it does have a weakness to Dazzling Gleam, and I even get the crit, but he has, you know, that annoying ability that lets him live, and then he just kills me with a crit of his own, a crit gyro ball. And, um, yeah, that's just not cool. And it makes me, uh, kind of sad. So I go into Decay, and I just want to, uh, finish off the Fortress. I go for the Brave Bird, thinking that he might think I'm going to go for, you know... I, I kind of figured he might switch predicting my Sucker Punch, but I was going to outspeed anyway, so it's not a big deal. He goes out into Blastoise and Mega Evolves, but he is going to get taken out in two hits by my Honchkrow's Brave Bird. So that's pretty awesome. I got my Moxie Boost, and now he goes into his Nido King and kills me. Yeah, I was also kind of going for the Sucker Punch, but uh, yeah, apparently he's able to kill me in one hit because obviously Dark is now weak to Dark. Son of a gun! Alright, so I go into Apom, which, uh, being a normal type, not really going to be that interesting in the inverse battle. Uh, but I do have a uh, Shadow... Shadow Claw, so I decided to go for that, because that's going to be super effective against Dark. Although he's just going to go out into his, uh, Whip Leech, his, uh, what is this called? Oh lord. Yeah, Electros. So I go into Star Mori. Uh, I'm not afraid of a knockoff or an electric move, but, um, apparently this thing... And I kind of knew this thing could carry Flamethrower. I'm just playing stupid. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this is really hard. This is harder than it looks, guys. Uh, being able to reverse the type chart in your head. I wasn't really thinking about the flamethrower, but yeah, the flamethrower does kill me after the burn, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, what can you do? So I go for a fake out, and uh, yeah, he goes back into Umbreon, and now I'm just going to go for a Shadow Claw, which she predicts. And I guess it was obvious since I already showed it off, and he goes out into Entei, and uh, yeah, Entei takes the Shadow Claw pretty nicely, and now I'm just going to go for the return because it's a pretty decently strong move, and I'm hoping I can get some good damage on Entei, although he is going to kill me with the Sacred Fire. Alright, moving on, uh, I go into Troll, figuring that I should be able to take anything and finish this Entei off if he stays in. That Sacred Fire does a lot more than I thought it would. Dear Lord, I don't know what set that is, I guess it would be, maybe it's a Choice Back set or something, but... Yeah, it ends up doing a lot more than I would have liked. Anyway, so I go for the Wish, and uh, yeah, he goes for the knockoff, which is going to nearly kill me. Thank God it didn't. And uh, now he's going to go out into Fortress as I go for the obvious Protect to get my health back. Um, that does also get rid of my leftovers, which is really actually not good at all for me. So he goes for a Gyra Ball. I don't really know why, because it's not going to do a whole lot to a slow Pokemon like Umbreon. Um, and I'm going to go for the Foul Play, because, yeah, I I'm 99% sure he would have expected me to protect there. So might as well just get some extra damage. If he does hit me, this Fortress doesn't seem to have anything that can really do much damage. So I go for another Wish. I, I don't see a reason why not to, because at this point it's like my form of healing. And I'm able to KO this Fortress without actually taking damage. And I'm at full HP again, which is kind of nice. So he goes out into his own Umbreon and tries to Toxic me, but um, I'm okay with being Toxic. I do have the Heal Bell on the uh, Troll. So I'm just going to go for the Foul Play because it's super effective. And uh, yeah, he do also has Wish, so obviously it's pretty much the same set. Although I don't know what his fourth move is. Um, I don't know if he has Foul Play or whatnot, but... Uh, he we share the similar moves. I know he has Protect and um, Wish, as well as Heal Bell himself. Anyway, so he's going to miss it again with Toxic, but uh, yeah, and he's kind of upset about that. I have Heal Bell anyway. It's not like I'm really that upset. Um, but anyway, he eventually does get the Toxic off, and it does, of course, synchronize. And uh, yeah, now we're both Toxic Poison, and both of us can really, you know get rid of it if we wanted to, but whatever. He's going to switch out now, and he goes back into his Herman, his Nido King, and here I make probably a big misplay. I didn't really think this Nido King could do that much to me, and it does a lot more than I would have thought, and looking back on it, this Nido King is almost certainly banded. 
uh, Choice Bandit, that is. So, yeah, that's really not good. So I go out into um, uh, Knuckles here, just hoping that I don't even know, because I know he, he has to use Earthquake, so... Yeah, that's going to hurt Knuckles, because it's super effective, being that I'm normally immune to it. So, anyway, now I go for the Rock Slide, and uh, he does switch out, thinking he might be slower, I guess. I go for the Roost, uh, just to get some HP back. He's just going to go for the Wish, but, uh, yeah, Zumbaran's gonna die anyway. Although, this allow him to go into Nido King and uh, get the Wish up on that. But uh, I really want to finish this guy also. I go for the Rock Slide, which you normally resist, although he does kill himself to his own Life Orb. So that's not good at all for him, although he still has this Electros. And uh, Electros is kind of like a killer Pokémon for an inverse battle. Um, because it has such a varied moveset, it's uh, very difficult uh, to get rid of. So yeah, he goes for the Discharge. It obviously is uh, going to kill me at that point. I just go for the Protect, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I can live and uh, go for a Wish, although... Uh, yeah, the knockoff is going to kill me, and that sucks. I was thinking I might be able to live one because it wasn't going to be at full power, considering I didn't have an item, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't able to live one, and that sucks. I guess I could have tried to Toxic Stall using Protect, but, uh, that probably wouldn't have worked, and, yeah, it was all around still a very close match. T did that, dude. It was an interesting match. Um, I played, like, Inverse Battle one time before, and he's like, I think I played it in-game when I was playing through the game, and, uh, it confused the hell out of me. But, um, yeah, thank you for the, uh, invitation to do that. That was, uh, definitely made you think while playing Pokemon. So, yeah, today's question of the day is, what is your opinion on inverse battles? Uh, do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you want to rip out your hair like me when I'm playing an inverse match? Well, this match particularly, it's, uh, pretty difficult. But, uh, leave a comment about whether you like it or not, and, uh, if you do play inverse matches... What is your common strategies? What is the best types? What is the best Pokemon? I'm really interested to hear about this, because, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how I would um, make an I a team specifically for an inverse match. Anyway, uh, leave a comment about that, and uh, later.